A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now, the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each of the creature, that was his name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's prayers and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord go away a woman from the rib he had taken out the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, He sits now, bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother, and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Happy is the nation whose God is Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. On those who hope in his steadfast love. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, he is our God and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Let our steadfast love of the Lord be upon us. Even as we hope in you, the earth is a whole of the steadfast love of God. Y yo me refiero a Cristo y a la Iglesia, 
en una palabra, cada uno de nosotros habla a su mujer como a su mismo. Y que la mujer respete a su marido. Palabra de Dios. Of people who gave us 
life in this dwelling in earth. We are grateful to them, of course, that you are grateful today to your parents, but thanks to them and next you also you are chosen to build Christian family together. And Jesus is telling us you are not no more two. You are one flesh. But Paula will continue to be Paula. Arturo will continue to be Arturo. Eh? With all your way to live, culture, style of life, we know that we can be children from the same father and same mother, and we are very different. And we know that despite we are very different, we are able to love each other. We are able to protect each other. We are able to fight even for each other. Eh? Because in variety, in diversity, we can build unity. This is what Jesus today is teaching us. Once you will promise soon in the house of the sacrament of Mary that you will be together in all time, in good and bad, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. This is promise. This is also reason to be together. Because if we build marriage life, if we build family life, we are only building on the fundaments given from our God, from His words, from Jesus' gospel. And, and He is reminding us then, like in the second reading, St. Paul is telling to Ephesians, then you cannot love yourself if you are not loving other people. Because if we are loving just ourselves, we are egoists. We cannot survive. If we love ourselves, we love others. And this is what we wish that will happen to continue to be in your life together. That you will give yourself to each other. That you will protect each other. That you will support each other. That you will continue to say important keyword, I love you. Very often. But of course, like St. Paul is teaching us, not only words, but actions as well. In all your actions, already happen, and in the future, always bring experience of love to each other. And in this way, God's blessing, God's protection will always be under the roof of your home, of your house. And may God bless you, Paula and Arturo, bless all of us present here, because all of us, we are children of God. All of us, we are part of Christian families, and we are proud of it, definitely, that God is living first in our hearts, secondly in our families, and thirdly in all the world, once we invoke his name. And you may continue to invoke the name of the Lord in your marriage life, in your future family life. We pray for it. We also asking God that He will continue to support all your steps, all your words, and all your actions. Amen. Now, Paula and Arturo, please stand. I know that we have two witnesses. Herman. Herman, and who is more? You. You can come in a bit closer. Second witness, you can stay here. You see, this way you will hear better, you know. 
by will and sufficient to ensure well the promises of okay? Abdu Paula and Arturo. You have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of church minister and this community. Christ abundant with blessings is love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of Mary in mutual and lasting freedom. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to stay your intentions. Paula and Arturo, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other? as a man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Will you accept children loving people from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. After all, you I am Once we are grateful 
for the sacrament of marriage, we pray for our hero and power by intercession of Mary, Mother of God. Ave Maria. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, ora e ora la nostra Prayers of the faith. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we call to lift our prayers to God to His love. Yeah. 
so that the sacrament we celebrate might draw back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we praise you, and without them, we are blamed. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now I would like to invite Paula and Arturo, this meal. In this nuptial blessing, in silence we pray, hearing the prayer for Paula and Arturo, and may God continue to bless them in this new marriage life. Let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom who come to the altar as they begin their married life that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, may and he may you created them so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love, will that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sight, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your people. Graciously, Stretch out your right hand over these your servants, Paula and Arturo, we pray, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O oh Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O oh Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter power, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring one to her home with a love that is pure, and adore him with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Arturo, your servant, 
that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and provident father. Grant, Holy Lord, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 
So this Paula Nardoro come here forward. Maybe the front of the dealers. Racing people. Uh, brothers and sisters, now after the vows in the sacrament of marriage, after the Holy Eucharist, and after the signatures, we can proclaim Paula and Arturo, husband and wife, claps for them. <laughs> Thank you. 